Hi everyone and welcome back to Pichi Global Kitchen. Today we have a recipe, a very delicious and wonderful recipe for you guys. But before I start, if today is your first time of being a guest on my channel, I said thank you so very much for being a guest and God bless you. And while you are here, don't forget to click that subscription button down by your right hand side and the notification icon bell beside it so you get to see more of my video each time I upload new videos. And also at the end of this video, just give it a beautiful thumb up and share to your friends and loved ones. Yes, today as you can see on the screen, this is of my flower. And uh, I want to say thank you to Chief Mrs. A B Asogwa and um Chidema Eguato, if I'm not mistaken, I, I don't know if I pronounce it very well. Yes, they are the lovely sisters that I have from Enugu State that sent me this um opa flower. And today I am going to make this opa flower in two different three different ways. I'm going to make it with um heart shape. I'm going to cook it with nylon and I'm going to make it with upper leaf. So without wasting much of your time, let's get started. All right, friends, here is my upper. I've already sieved it out to make sure that there are no lumps. And uh, to this, I am going to add palm oil. Now, I did this for the first time. It didn't come out well because the oil didn't come out uh, the way it should. So I decided to use another method. So this time I'm going to pour in enough red oil. That is the beauty of Okpa. I need to put in enough red oil because the oil here is not like the oil back home. You know, the one we have here is all this... Um, Oh yeah, that uh, that is brought from uh, Ghana. And all these uh, neighboring uh, countries. So I'll mix it thoroughly. At this point, I'll start adding in water, warm water. Look, just look warm water, not too hot, though. So that you wouldn't go cooking the cooking the opa <laughs> before putting it on the fire. So. You keep mixing it, you mix it, keep adding water because Okwa need a lot of water. So you keep adding water to it until you get the texture and the consistency that you need. All right, from here is our Okwa Enugu flour properly mixed. You can see there are no lumps. So let's start. One thing about this Okwa Enugu is this. I am one person that like experimenting a lot. <laughs> when it comes to food, eh, I, it's like I am crazy. When I'm sitting there, I'm always thinking about one recipe or the other two to make, you know, something different, adding, you know, different and spices to whatever I am doing. I'm very passionate about anything that has to do with kitchen. So today I'm going, you are going to see a different method of okwa enugu. This is over a woman making okwa enugu, and I tell you, I'm going to beat all the enugu women that makes upper with this my upper oh my word <laughs> so let's keep going this is time to start putting in the ingredients that i have one after the other so first to go is my paper oh my word i hope i did not put i like eating paper a lot a lot i don't know hey eh? Even when others are shouting, pepe, 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 me, I'll be telling them to bring more for me to put. I just hope I'm not exaggerated with this pepe. Then here is that. This is my onions and uh, a food that I blended together. Guess what this is? <laughs> this is red and green pepe. Yes. So I'm making vegetable of my enugu today. I'll add my mashed fish. Well, you can say somebody will say, Oh my god, what is this? This woman is abusing our food. No, I'm only trying to be creative, darling. I am not abusing your food. Just trying to be creative, make a difference, you know. Can't just I don't like you no know, following the wagon. I like being di different in everything that I do. 
so that is that in next is salt to taste well your salt is optional you can put as much salt as you like like here we don't eat much salt in my house you know so i'm just putting in just this little one if you want to put more it's left for you so i have the remainder of this bell pepper i can't throw them away so i have to still pour them inside and to shock you guys i'm also going to put a little carrot yes Say whatever you want but that is how i want mine i want to experiment and see how it comes out i want it to be upper of many colors <laughs> well this is bitchy global kitchen if you are just tuning in on our channel say thank you thank you thank you so much and god bless you don't forget to subscribe and if you have subscribed thank you you are a darling one in a million god bless you for subscribing so today we are making Vegetable work by Enugu with a difference. Oh, 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 all right, friend. Here is our Okba Enugu. Yeah, if you are just stopping by on my channel, I say thank you, thank you, thank you, darling, for stopping by. And while you are here, don't forget to do the needful subscribe. And if you have subscribed already, thank you and God bless you. So here we are with our Okba Enugu. Mm hmm. The other one is in the free, in, sorry, the, the other one is in the oven, and this one I'm going to cook it on the gas. And I'll cover with this. To return the heat. Okay, here is water. Put this on it. And then I will cover and allow to cook. Let's give it 45, 45 minutes and see how it goes. We'll be right back. Trying to see my pot. Now they feel my pot. <laughs> hey, I just bought this pot. I'm just launching it for the first time today. Eh, okay, no good, don't make me launch my pot. <laughs> yes, friend, don't forget to subscribe. This is Pichi Global Kitchen. If you have any recipe for us, don't forget to send us the recipe on our email, pichiglobalkitchen at gmail.com. You can also give us a call or inbox us on Facebook, on follow us on Instagram, on um, Twitter, and every other platform that you can think of and uh, let's keep going and see the results of this wonderful vegetable of Bayenubu made by Obere woman <laughs> all right friends here we are <laughs> this is our Opa Enugu ready to go yeah all right guys here is the one i made with my um, baking pan you can see how beautiful it came out then i'm also going to show you another one here's the one i made with the leaf <laughs> oh my wow, god this is so 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 i'm so happy so nice so mm, i hope you guys will just come along and let's just you know kind of do justice to this wonderful delicious vegetable up by Enugu, you know, with a difference made by more aware woman. I'm sure I'm going to beat most of you Enugu women on this upper. It's unfortunate you can't taste it. Well, this is Pichi Global Kitchen, and um, if you are just stopping by, thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you so much, and God bless you. And also, don't forget to thumb up this video, share to your friends and loved ones, and turn on the notification icon so you get to see more of my video each time we upload new video. And also, don't forget, we have another one 
here this very one all right friends here is my three in one of my one with a palive the other one with a um, baking tray and then this boiled with pressure pot so i will have to check and see how it all looks in the inside because the taste of the pudding i will always say is in the eating so let's check how the inside it looks like here is the one with heart shape can you see that mm. Take a look at this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Oh, this is lovely. Lovely, lovely. Let's check this. Here is the one with the leaf. Okay. Okay, friends. Here we come to the end of today's recipe. Don't forget to thumb up this video. And until I come your way next time, remain in the atmosphere of spicing your world with Okba Enugu made by Owe the Woman. Bye. Thanks. Mm-hmm.